An individual ant doesn't seem very smart. I mean, they're not totally stupid. They can remember the location of a food source and go back to it again. They are capable of learning things. But an individual ant is not very smart. And yet, when you put a whole lot of individual ants together in a colony, they can do things that are very smart that none of the individuals could do. They can make group collective decisions about things like building their nests and adding on chambers or growing fungus gardens or foraging for food and deciding like, we've cut enough leaves off this tree, let's move on to the next tree. It's almost analogous to your own nervous system. Individual nerve cells are pretty stupid. They get some impulse and it reaches some threshold and they say, oh, it's time to send a signal. But all of your nerve cells together make your brain, which is capable of making you who you are. Each individual ant has a somewhat limited repertoire. Some stimulus comes in like alarm pheromone, there must be an intruder. And then there's a response like, I should make some alarm pheromone too, and I should approach in the direction of the intruder. But when a lot of ants are assembled together, each of them with this little repertoire of behaviors, you get an emergent sort of overall colony level intelligence that makes it possible for ants to do these really complicated things that are kind of like the complicated things humans do.